Hello, welcome to the Water Strainer Mod Spotlight. So what we need to do is we need to get these things called the Strainer Base, which is created like this. Um, this generates items in water. There's various different uh, tiers that we can get for, for the Water Strainer. Um, basically, you can, you've got the uh, tight strainers, which create sand, dirt, gravel and gold nuggets, and the, the wide strainers of stick, stone, clay and planks. And the normal ones which do both but if you get only a certain amount of items every uh sort of about 30 35 seconds then it makes more sense to have just to do the tight and the wide one so let's see if we can set up so the best one the tier is basically wood iron and then this uses diamonds so so we wanted to have a this one the tight strain so we could get lots of sand dirt gravel and gold nuggets okay so what we need to do we, the, another thing is we're in the river biome, which is the highest percentage. If you're not in the river biome, river is plus 20%, beach plus 15, deep ocean plus 10. So we'll put this down here, and we'll put the uh, this here. Now let's look at the efficiency meter. Efficiency 130%. So that's what I think I would have gone for. So it's 20% for the biome edition. And it's um, and a further ten percent for being one away from the. I think, yeah, the, uh, I did play the source block. I don't know. What, it's weird when you play the source block. I never really thought of it like this, but that is a, but it is a source block here, even though it's a flowing water block. You're supposed to do it one away from the flowing water block. The fact that it is that, and if I believe it's twenty percent and then ten percent for the ideal location, it makes me think that, that is 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 exactly the place to put it. So I'm pretty sure that is exactly the right spot. Um, so we can see that it's going to start accruing um, various different things here. Um, so that's cool. So yeah, so that looks like the perfect spot to do that in. Um, so what we might want to do is let's try to do another one. So we'll just just for the moment, I just want to uh, lock up this area. Okay, and then I'm going to do that. I don't like it like that though. Okay, so yeah, I hit one down here though. Um, okay, so let's get another strainer base. And okay, so we, in here we had uh, tight ones. So we'll put the wide one. Okay, we'll just use a wide wide one here. Uh, do I not take the wide? Okay. Oh no, sorry, of course I did. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright. Put that in there. Let's have a look with the efficiency meter. That's how you make that. Again, 130, so that's cool. Okay, so that will start getting this sort of stuff. So yeah, so in a river biome, uh, and like that, basically. Um, okay, next section. Let's move on to that. This is a bit deeper, so it's my... Uh, I'll still do it the same way, though. Hopefully it shouldn't take me too long to get this down. Okie dokie, so... Just go to let's just do it like this, it'll just be a bit easier. And that one can go two down, this one can go one down. So we need another base. Okay, cool. And then I want to also have so there's these things as well the bait. If you look at the trap, so if we dig dirt, which is happens to be quite... You can see we're going to get these worms. They can be used as bait. So found by digging dirt with a ground trap, put the worm into a bait pot to make it more efficient. So some of these, I'm not sure if they actually accept the bait. Let's have a look. So can we put bait in all of them? 
This train does not need any bait. Right. That's what I thought. And what about this one? This train does not need any bait. But, if we look at this guy, the... Um, and that's made with the net, which is that one. So you can see that that's basically all the items now. Uh, apart from the bait pole, which obviously we can talk about now. Um, so we're going to want to get the... Uh, yeah, we're going to want to use this. So it catches fish junk, which requires bait or a bait pot, which requires a stereo bait. Okay. So put this one in here. Yeah. Okay. This strainer does require bait. So we can put in one bait. And that will increase its... Uh, so you can see what it gets. It's got a small chance of enchantment. But if we go... Uh, let's have a look at this. Again, 130%. So... And that is that is basically the, the number you want. So let's have a look. So we, so we can get... Uh, that's a creative mode. But... So yeah, if we just mix a... Uh, oh, interesting. That's an interesting recipe. Oh yeah, just no flower pot with iron bars. Get the bait pot. And we do bait pot with this. Uh... So yeah, there is a full one here. So we can put this thing in there instead. Uh, can we... So yeah, so this should incre increase the rate for which we accrue items. Oh wow! <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So yeah, so you can see, pretty cool. Um, obviously it's, it's intended as like a passive generation system. But it's just really cool, like, all the things that this mod can do. And... Uh, yeah, I think I've explained everything, so thanks for watching.